Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. It is Sunday. Buckeyes won last night against Michigan State. Go Bucks. Um, it was an away game, so I didn't have to work. So that's pretty exciting. It's a dreary, rainy day. I'm not trying to complain because we've had no rain for a very long time. So that's fine. It helps me get stuff done around the house. But I have uh, DIY crafters um, supplies haul for you today. Um, some things I want to make for Christmas gifts. And I thought this is good. I'll grab a bunch of materials and I will show you. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I picked up are these rope baskets. And I know I've showed this before, but I picked up one, two, three, five of them. They're in the gold. And I just think these are going to make perfect vessels for little Christmas gifts for friends and family. And they're reusable, which I love. Um, and I think the gold just makes them that much more festive. So I grabbed, oops, I grabbed a little stack of them. There was plenty. I by no means took them all. And yeah, so I thought they were just perfect. Ooh. I think there's a bug in my house. Perfect size to build some type of gift basket. Then I grabbed this. It's a resin coaster. I love a good coaster. This is not the size I had before. I had one and I lost it. I don't quite know where it went, but I picked this up in case I can't find the other one because I do love making a coaster. I put a stickers in them so they're personalized for specific things. I could do Buckeyes because I have Buckeye stickers or um, I did Pelotonia ones or I could do my crazy life one, which is what I want to make next. So I didn't have any mold. I couldn't find it. It's not with my molds. It's not with my resin stuff, which is interesting. So if you check most of your stores, they do have... Um, resin stuff. So we got that. And then I saw these and I've only seen these at one store. And I will tell you in the last week, I've been to like seven stores, different stores on the hunt for things. Um, these are coasters. I don't know where this glare is coming from. These are DIY ceramic tiles, right? But they already have the cork on the back. They came in square and round. I grabbed the square. I think I'm going to make them for some gifts for my team at the football. So I grabbed four packs, which will give me eight coasters, which I thought was a perfect number. And I will gift them individually. Um, as that, and they came in, like I said, they came in red. We should open one and see. We have time. I think hope yes okay so these are not glazed which makes them better than the ceramic tiles that you would buy at um the hardware store which you can totally do but what, the benefit to this is it's not pre-glazed so your glue is going to stick your iron your paint and then you seal it with mod podge i'll just use some spray sealer like glazed uh clear glaze so that's the benefit of these over the ones you would get at the hardware store is these are not already glazed. So your stuff's going to stick to it, which is a good benefit. Let's take our trash and put it right next to us so we can throw it away. Okay, now bear with me on this one. I saw these miniature wine glasses, AKA a shot glass, let's be truthful. These are little shot glasses, but look at the three stacked together. Why can't we make a snowman? We just need to get or make a paper hat for him and put some glitter maybe in his body and then arms or something. I don't know. I thought they were too fun to leave behind. And these were in the party section. So don't sleep on the party section. Or if you're having like a party, especially with little people, you can make pudding in here, you can make jello in here, you can make jello shots, although you'd have to spoon it out. But I just thought these were great, especially for like little dessert cups or something. So I grabbed those for crafting. Um, they came out this year with this teal color in the glitter tool in the Christmas with the snowflakes on it. And I love a pink and mint green Christmas. It's very vintage to me. So this is hot P 
pink with glitter and this is the tealy color with glitter. And when you open them up and unstring them, they're not as bright or vibrant. So I'm going to use these to tie up a couple gift baskets. Instead of ribbon, I'm gonna use this tool. And they have all different colors. They have Christmas, like candy canes, like a lot of the red, but I grabbed two of this because I think it's gonna go fast. Um, oh, these, I thought these were super cute. They're just maple leaf little candles, little tea lights. I know, so I grabbed two. We'll find something fun to do with them craft-wise. I need a thumbnail. It happens. Okay. I've been kind of obsessed watching the paper crafters on YouTube and on TikTok. And I've always wanted to be a paper design crafter. So I'm going to make a couple little gifts out of these three stack of notebooks. And these little packs of miniature, which I'm obsessed with. These little miniature um, composition notebooks. Now, paper crafters do a lot of these for craft fairs, so they're not always easy to find. So I grabbed a couple because I found them at one of my store. One of the seven stores had them in stock still. So I grabbed a couple of these. You get three, a three pack in one which I thought was fun. So I grabbed some of those to do some crafting and I grabbed some of these. And I will make videos if if I get to it. <laughs> Just have a few other things here. Um, also some hand sanitizer for, this is a stocking stuffer for somebody who likes plain old generic hand sanitizer. I don't understand it either, but that's what he likes. And so I will make it bougie and put it in his Christmas gift. I found some more of this, like, this is a little different. This is more of a fleece. Like, it's super squishy and soft to back things. And then I found some in black, which is not super soft and squishy, but it's black. So, this was with the baby stuff, which was odd to me. Maybe they to make a baby blanket. Just says craft fabric. I don't know. It's big. It's definitely fleece, but it's a very thin, a, a thin fleece, which for crafting is good. It's got a nice stretch to it. And it's a fat quarter and the same with the black fat quarters, which I'm not mad about because for craft purposes, that's a good size. Um, they also came out with some glitter paint. I grabbed the gold and the reds. Some of my paints are dried up from years gone by. I mean, I've got paint, but it's a lot. And this is Delta, which is a good brand. I don't think $1.25 is bad. I remember when it used to be 99 cents, but I think it's, this is really close to what it costs at like Walmart or Joanne or some other craft store, Michaels. But this is glitter. And I specifically wanted the glitter. So I grabbed red and gold for the Christmas season. Oh, oh, I was digging through a box with some beads in it and I found these. And they're like little football themed charms. And they had baseball too. And I was like, well, duh girl, you're making football stuff for OSU when I take to my work to share. So I got some charms that I can attach to things. Um, you get a helmet, three large footballs, and two small. And they are in silver, but you can spray paint these. Um, and this one, you get three small, two big. Did I say that? And a helmet. No, three big, three small, and a helmet in each one. Which for $1.25 is not bad. And these are just silver colored. I mean, they're not silver metal, you know, like aluminum or some type of metal. But exciting. So I grabbed those. Just a couple more things, kids. This will be a fast one. For my paper craft, I grabbed some of these pearl beads that you can take individually and stick to something because I thought that would be cute. And then I just thought these were adorable. They are mermaid iron-on patches. I know, right? Super fun. 
And then just a couple more things. Um, I found this ornament. I don't know if, I know the style is not new, but I don't remember seeing the deer and the tree with the plaid. Um, I, oh, well, this one's a mess. I'll have to fix it. The top of the plastic pine cone is holding the thing. I can fix that. I just love that. I thought it was really sweet um, to put on something. It could go, actually, I think this would look really pretty like on a wreath or something. I don't know. I liked it and I liked the two little details. And then the last thing I picked up for Christmas crafting so far is just some pom-poms. And these are the ones with some of the foil in them. They're sparkly opposed to the plain, plain ones. So I thought that would be fun. I mean, I've got a ton of craft stuff, let's be fair. But I felt like um, this stuff would be good at addition to what I already have. And I don't do a lot of paper crafting, but I did buy some scrapbook paper to do. I need to take all of this upstairs and put it away, right? And not just pile it in the corner. If that's what I'm supposed to do, that's what I'm going to do. So let's put it all back in its bag. And then I haven't decided yet what's going in the, the baskets, but ugh, something will definitely be going in these baskets. All right, guys, that is everything. So I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later. Bye.